Well, hello again. As we speak, I'm putting together the video for the A-10. Yes, you heard right. I've finally flown a thing. And I'll have to say this. It flies... Well, you'll have to wait for the video. <laughs> no spoiler, sorry. But I will say that the model survived in one piece. So now I'm in the process of getting a custom set of decals for it. I'm also hoping to make another mod as well, but we'll see how that goes. Some people have asked me what camera I use for the in-flight videos. If you've noticed on some of my videos, I actually have onboard video on the plane. It shows from different angles. And I really like to do that sometimes because it kind of breaks up the video and makes it more interesting. And I actually don't use anything fancy, just an old Mobius action cam with a wide-angle lens. I actually really like this camera as it is small, relatively light, and takes great video. In fact, it takes 1080p uh, high-definition video, which is really nice. I really had my uh, first problem with it, however, though. I, I couldn't get it to turn on, <laughs> much to my anguish. Nothing I could do to get it to do anything other than occasionally blink at me, mocking me. Suspecting the battery, I, I took it apart, and yep, it was a battery. That sucker had puffed so much, I was surprised it hadn't broken the case. It was like it was doing some sort of puffer fish impersonation. So yeah, battery. While I'm at it, I want to kind of nerd rant for a second. I've always disliked what I call software switches, just like what the Mobius has. And in fact, many electronic devices have these. These are switches that don't completely disconnect the device from the battery. This means that when you turn a device off, it just never really turns off because it's not a hard switch. It, which means that if you stick the thing in a drawer for, you know, for some long period of time, you are actually in danger of over-discharging the battery, which is a serious thing for, you know, a lot of the modern devices that run lithium-type batteries. I'm seriously considering hot wiring a mechanical switch into the thing. That way I can totally disconnect the battery, really just from the device, and won't have any leakage current, as they call it. I also have a Drometer drone view camera, which I actually did a review on some time ago. And that thing is really nice that it's actually smaller and lighter than the Mobius camera. It also has a movable lens with a Wi-Fi remote view. So it's really convenient to use. But unfortunately, I can't seem to find it since I've moved. <laughs> oh well. So I started another 3D printed RC modeling project. Something I've always wanted to build. Uh, so I was quite happy to find a design on Thingiverse. If you don't know what Thingiverse is, it's, it's simply a site where people upload their designs and you can download them for free and print on your 3D printer. The site boasts that they have over somewhere like 800,000 designs uploaded. It's really uh, incredible. Lots of clever people uploaded designs and it's worth a look, even if you don't have a 3D printer. I personally spent hours searching their database for all kinds of goofy things, and usually I'm not disappointed when I find. So anyways, as I was saying, I downloaded a design that has several large parts which take hours to print. One part was estimated to take 8 hours, so I started to print before bedtime, and it looked good at the start. Well, in the morning, it looked something like this. <laughs> yeah, of course that's not what it should look like. Uh, what happened is the part broke off the bed while printing, and the printer continued to print in mid-air, leaving me with this fuzzy mess. It was partially my fault, however, as I had not calibrated the bed sensor well enough. But live and learn, and buy more filament.